Five fun things to do in Reno in the winter time. My name is Jack Bowles. Now that it's finally snowing, I wanted to make this video for you. Now full disclosure, if you hate the cold or the snow, you may not want to spend a whole lot of time here in the winter. Reno Tahoe has 22,000 acres of snow covered terrain. So a lot of our items on this list will be built around that. First up on our list, we have sledding. Remember, don't try this at home, kids. I am a professional. Later, dudes. Let it rip, hang pen. Everybody loves sledding, especially kids, and the best part about sledding is that it's fun, it's cheap, and it's a great workout. Now we have tons of hills here in Reno, up in Northwest, I know there are a lot uh, by McQueen High School. I'm not sure if you're legally allowed to go on McQueen High School and start sledding around, but I read an article from Nevada Sportsnet saying that it's okay and they said to blame them if anything happens. If you're looking for more of a structured sledding experience, a lot of the resorts up in Tahoe have them. I know that Boreal has a really nice sled park. Northstar has a nice one. There are tons of little hills off to the side at Squaw where you can go sledding. I personally grew up sledding in Donner, which is in Truckee. There's a rec center there. They have a pool and some hot tubs and the driving range, when it snows in the wintertime, they turn it into a sled park. There's a bunch though, you just Google sledding in Reno Tahoe and a, a bunch will pop up. Now the second thing you can do in Reno in the wintertime is go ice skating. A good spot to go ice skating here is the GSR, that's where a lot of people go. A lot of people stay at the GSR and ice skate there. It's in the middle of Reno pretty much. You also have Reno Ice in South Reno, that is an indoor ice rink that they open up to the public. You have hockey teams and you can even get lessons and stuff there. Again, if you're looking for kind of more of a memorable experience, I would recommend heading up to Tahoe to some of the ice rinks up there. Heavenly has a good one. The one at Squaw is really fun. You take the gondola all the way up to the top. You know, the Olympics were there in the 80s. My favorite ice rink up in Tahoe is North Star though. It's right in the center of the village. You're surrounded by condos and little restaurants and then you have the ski slopes as a backdrop. So it's really just a good vibe, a good experience, a good place to make memories. It's really like a Hallmark movie, to be honest with you. I don't watch Hallmark movies, my mom does, so don't judge me. And if your kids really wanna get into it, I know Reno Ice has instructors and lessons that they offer. If you're looking to make Reno your home, we are the number one relocation team in the state of Nevada. Here's my number and my email, reach out to me. I would love to help you find a good spot somewhere near things you like to do. I would love to hear your story. I would love to hear what you love to do here in the winter time. I'm always looking for suggestions. Now there are lots of indoor activities to do in Reno as well. You could go to the movies, you can go to the bowling alley, you could try ax throwing. We have circus circus, restaurants. For those over 21, you could obviously go out and gamble. You can hit the bars. Uh, you can explore breweries. There's too much to cover, so I'll just talk about my favorite indoor activity to do here in the winter time, and that is go to the Whitney Peak Hotel and the Base Camp Climbing Gym. Whitney Peak Hotel is in the center of downtown Reno. It's a climbing gym where you know you can bring the kids. They have something that caters to everybody. They have small little walls for the kids to climb on and little tumbling pads. They have higher walls where you can climb to like 20-ish feet with, you know, beginner walls and up to you know more advanced walls with like cliffs and ledges and stuff and you don't have to be strapped in because there's padding at the bottom. If you're feeling really courageous, you could scale up the whole side of the hotel. It has to be one of the tallest climbing walls in America. But anyway, it's plenty tall. It's such a good time. It's a perfect location as well. If you have older kids or a babysitter, you can drop the kids there and you and the wife can go out on the town. You can go gambling or go to some bars do all the stuff that downtown has to offer. So it's really convenient and it's really fun. The fourth thing you can do in Reno in the wintertime is take a drive to Virginia City. Now Virginia City is an old mining town. They settled there in 1859. It's named after an old prospector named Old Virginia. It became a booming mining camp after the discovery of the Comstock Lode, which brought us a ton of silver. One of the big reasons why we are the silver state. So Virginia City is a very historical town and they've done a really good job keeping it that way. You go there and it's almost like one of those skits and movies or shows where people are in an old western town and they're just kind of in character. Hey. Uh, listen, if anyone still wants to know, the phone is in the administration building. You dial 9 to get out and there's actually a back exit behind the horse troughs. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. It's really such a good time, but they have tons of museums. You can schedule tours with tour guides. You can um, ride on trains. They even have ghost tours. For Ghost Adventures fans, the Washoe Club needs no introduction. Which sounds super fun. I haven't done that myself, but I'm kind of into that stuff, so that's something I would really like to do. And if you're over 21, you know they still have the old saloons there. 
the bars, which they've really done a good job of maintaining and making it feel like an old time saloon. And it's really just a fun time to drive down there through all the trees and pull up into this old western town and it makes for a really fun day. If you're enjoying this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Your support really means a lot and I appreciate you. Our fifth and final thing to do in Reno and my personal favorite thing to do is head on up to the ski resorts. Now I'll kind of encompass everything that we talked about and make it a full day for you. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get up early. I hate this part, but get up early at like 6.30 or seven. You're gonna wanna beat the traffic and you're gonna wanna get in that rental line early before it becomes a madhouse. If you get in that rental line late, it's really not good. Top tip too, if you rent your stuff outside of the ski resort, like in town or something, um, Bobo's here is a good one, but a lot of the times it's cheaper and it's way more convenient than waiting till you get up there. That rental line can really become a madhouse and you don't want to ruin your day right off the bat. So get your rental gear, get ready to hit the mountain. The mountains usually open at nine o'clock. They have something for everybody from double black diamonds to easy bunny runs. You can drop the kids off at ski school. They have all day ski school or ski school until lunch. They'll be well taken care of. They do a really good job. That way you and the missus can go hit the mountain, have some alone time do whatever runs you'd like to do. After you're done skiing, you can hit the lodge and hang out by the fire and have a beer or some hot chocolate. A lot of the times they'll have events or have live music going, so that makes the whole experience a lot more fun. After lunch, um, you can go to the ice skating rink or you can go off to the side and go sledding. And if you love to ski, I would love to help you find a home close to the ski resorts. Here's my number and my email. You can book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me in the description. I would love to help you find a place close to the ski resorts, somewhere you would really enjoy and have an awesome lifestyle. And if you still don't know a whole lot about Reno, check out this video.